Hello everyone welcome to my channel UK Immigration and Visa Updates Today update we will talk about and share with you a latest news about to chase a delayed UK visa or immigration decision in 6 steps Step 1. Contact UK visas and immigration for assistance if you are experiencing delays in processing your application and have not been contacted by the Home Office. The next step is to contact UK visas and immigration and ask for an update on the progress of your application. You will find the relevant contact details for the Home Office UK visas and immigration should be able to advise you on why there has been a delay in processing your application and if there are any steps you should take to expedite the application. It is advisable to keep a record of all calls and emails you have made to the Home Office regarding your application, including who you spoke to, when the call was made, and what information was given. The Home Office may provide you with ticket numbers in email correspondence, which you should hold on to. You will need a record of these steps being taken in order to take further action to chase your immigration decision. In calls and correspondence with the Home Office, you should refer to your Home Office reference numbers and or visa application numbers. These numbers can be found in correspondence with the Home Office and your downloaded application forms. You should also mention when your application was submitted, when your biometrics were enrolled, and the published processing time on the Home Office website at the date of submission. You should also explain how the delay is impacting you and your family. For example, if it is affecting an employment offer or is separating you from loved ones. It is advisable to ask for the matter to be escalated or fast-tracked as a matter of priority. And for the Home Office to refund you for the priority or super-priority service fee if you paid for this. Step 2. Complain about UK visas and immigration if contacting the Home Office does not avail you. The next step is to submit a complaint to UK visas and immigration using their online form. It is alternatively possible to write a letter to the Complaints Allocation Hub or to email complaints at homeoffice.gov.uk. The Home Office website warns that it can take up to 20 days to receive a response to a complaint about waiting for a decision on an immigration application. Where a complaint suggests serious professional misconduct, it can take up to 12 weeks. UKV I should write to you to explain this. You should include all details of previous communications with the Home Office, your reference numbers, your full name, your date of birth and all other relevant information in your complaint. Step 3. Contact your local MP if you have still not heard from the Home Office from the above steps. Many of our clients have successfully asked their MPs to intervene on their behalf. The Parliament website indicates that you should contact your MP. I. If you feel you have been treated unfairly by a government office or agency. Writing a letter to your MP at the House of Commons. London SW1AOAA or emailing them using the directory of MPs is the easiest way as you can ensure that you provide them with all of the information to your complaint. Including details of the steps you have taken above. Step 4. Complain to the Parliamentary and Health Service Ombudsman if your MP's letter to the Home Office is unsuccessful. You may wish to ask your MP to refer your complaint to the Parliamentary and Health Service Ombudsman. This service is free. But it can only be done if you have already utilized UKVI's complaints procedure as set out above, as we are the final stage for unresolved complaints. We usually expect you to complain to the organization you are unhappy with first. This is so that it has the chance to look into your concerns and, where needed, put things right for you. You must have made a formal complaint to the Home Office and waited 20 days before your MP can contact the Ombudsman for you. Step 5. Pre-action protocol letter If you have completed all of the above steps, 
you may consider seeking advice about taking legal action against the Home Office. As a matter of law, you are only able to take legal action against the Home Office as a last resort. The first legal step is filing a pre-action protocol letter, PAP, on the Home Office. Step 6. Judicial review Judicial review is a matter of last resort. It is a costly, complex,